Yes, good morning. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Tuesday, the 1st of August, 2023, the year of BSV. Let's get into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go. Let's do this. So just want to whiz through this today because I've seen quite some interesting figures um, more actually looking at the market price than the fundamentals because we know the fundamentals are fantastic anyway. Uh, but let's just have a quick look through this. So um, again, for those who uh, know what I'm referring to, uh, I normally call uh, BTC Core Coin, but um, um, I'm going to change the name. I'm actually going to call it what it is, which is Cabal Coin. That's what BTC is. So we've got Cabal Coin at $28,965 with a fundamental value of precisely zero. That's going to hurt. It's got a long way to fall. Then we've got B Crash, what a joke, Fisher Price Cash, Fisher Price Cash, who cares? And then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right the way back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on earth because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. Oh yeah. So look at this transaction volume looking good. 80% block size, oh, just, just below 70. But again, the block size represents the data flowing up onto the network. The data is uploaded by the transactions. The transactions are processed by the nodes that create blocks and supply the hash rate. And the hash rate is the number of attempts at cracking SHA-256, which represents the investment, which uh, actually is meant to be a representative, well, goes after the value. But the value is meant to be representative of the price. But the price is currently speculative because people don't have a clue what Bitcoin really is. But when education catches up with speculation, you can guarantee the speculative price will soon start to match their fundamental values so let's have a quick look at the blocks coming through then just quick oh yeah nice oh that's right yeah 10 um 10 megabytes 13 5 7 13 relatively small compared to what we're used to uh but compared to uh cabal coin that's only got uh 2.8 megabyte that's the biggest block yeah what a joke and uh b crash no block oh they've got they've got one five megabyte block well done then <laughs> and uh fisher price cash still struggling to get all the blocks over a megabyte let alone uh, over a kilobyte let alone anywhere near a uh, a megabyte let's have a look at the graphs then just quickly hash rate yeah as you'd expect uh proof of work yeah usual so this is interesting so it's currently 1.1% more profitable to mine on B crash. Again, it's like it's usually 1% more profitable to mine on BTC, uh, Cabal coin. 1% uh, more profitable to mine on eCash. Again, I think these are being carefully managed. And again, look at this. It's 36% more profitable to mine on BTC, which is scaring all the miners away from it, which means they're not holding any Bitcoin. Can you imagine what is going to happen when they realize the mistake to maker that they have made? My goodness. Uh, daily average Bitcoin uh, block size by network. Yeah, Bitcoin smashing it. Transa uh, transactions by network. Oh, there we go. Back above it. Loving that. Uh, transactions per block. Yeah. Um, fees. Look at the look at that subcent fees. That's USD. Fees. Satoshi's right down there. You, you cannot beat Bitcoin on that one. Absolutely amazing. Uh, block feed to block award ratio again we'll just keep an eye on the red line because that red line will start to trend upwards very soon when the transaction volume increases daily accumulated bitcoin blockchain growth by network bitcoin smashing it right hash rate so this is global hash rate seven days so uh yeah foundry usa pool and ant pool uh with well over uh 50 between them um yeah they've got a huge amount of hash rate there uh 24 hours again looking very similar uh, this is a uh, Cabal coin. Again, Foundry, MasterCard. Wouldn't expect anything less mining that piece of crap. And uh, Ant Pool, again, making a huge mistake. This is interesting, though. Um, so B Crash, uh, other miners normally have a much larger percent of the hash rate on here to squeeze just to keep the profitability at bay. Um, but they've actually reduced, uh, other miners have reduced the hash rate on here, allowing other foolish miners to jump on it. And uh, it, look at that. It's yeah, it's, it's still approximately the same. So that's very significant. So really um, what you're after is for other miners to have their hash rate right the way down here. Um, and that means that they've got excess hash rate to bring on the network 
to just absolutely destroy this thing. When the miners start fleeing the chain, <clears throat> um, other miners can just come on, wipe out the hash rate, then just simply turn everything off and the chain disappears. That's what's going to happen to BTC, Bcrash, Fisher Price Cash. It's going to be pretty devastating when it happens. And, uh, and this is Bitcoin. Look at this. So, um, Tal being given 56.25% of the hash rate. Calvin was going to be very pleased with that. I mean, it's, uh, it's great watching this when you actually understand what they're doing here. Uh, again, just managing the hash rate, making it 35% more profitable to mine on BTC. Uh, but again, you know, anybody mine it, well, p particularly Tal and other miners, um, they, they don't really want to be holding any of those shit coins, especially not when the music stops because it's literally like musical chairs. Like, my goodness me. Uh, anyway, let's have a quick look at the rest of the charts. So this is the BTC difficulty adjustment. Again, still reaching all-time highs. Uh, so the difficulty adjustment is um, dependent on the amount of hash rate that's on the network. Uh, and it just means that a block is... Uh, is continue to be found uh, approximately on average every 10 minutes so the more hash rate that's on it uh, the more chances there are of finding SHA-256 so then the difficulty adjustment has to increase accordingly so the blocks are found every 10 minutes just interesting to look at so this is the the genuine Bitcoin hash rate that's been um, over a year it's looking pretty solid so far uh, and it looks like uh, Bitcoin's back on a bit info charts. Uh, BSV, we're now 41.3% of the entire market's transaction volume. Again, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing compared to what um, it should have or will have uh, very soon, but always interesting to look at. Uh, this is a new chart here from um, a BSV data. This is great. So this is literally all you need to know all in one graph. Look at this. So we've got um, average transaction or um, transactions over a 24 hour period. Look. Bitcoin absolutely smashing it, 2.1 million compared to Ethereum, which is 1.1. Uh, Ripple, that's XRP, 832,000. But I mean, look at that. It's just so obvious when you see, when you see it like this. It's crazy. And look at this, uh, transactions, transactions per second and uh, average fee, 24 hours. Look at this. So um, this is uh, descending. So it's cheaper as you go up here. And this is transaction throughput. So BSV has got a much uh, a much larger transaction throughput, and the fees are literally just like well, this is like in terms of dollar zero point zero 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 one below that. You, you you can't you can't beat it. Look, it's in it. It's it's on its own, <laughs> top right of the screen. It's huge. It's massive. Oh my goodness me. Uh, coin cent in the last twenty four hours again. I mean, coin cent is you know irrelevant really um uh, mining profitability is this is kind of interesting so this is compared to core coin because that's the the mac daddy at the moment but again the profitability will change enormously uh when the price goes up a little bit and the transaction volume increases on the network yeah my goodness and i look at the hash rate look at that so it's literally btc with like what 99 percent uh more than that you know, ridiculous, just because they follow in the price. But the miners don't have a, a clue about what Bitcoin really is. So, yeah, <laughs> all the gear and no idea is a uh, a classic one here. Look at this accumulated number of transactions. Look, the BSV network has done 2.6 billion transactions, more than any other network. Uh, almost, almost like combined if you're taking out Ethereum and BTC. My goodness me. And then uh, accumulated size of the blockchain. Look at this. I mean, look, so this is the amount of data that's actually on the network. So even with uh, even with Ethereum, with all their um, NFT crap on it, with all the sh all the shit that is on Ethereum, and there is a lot of shit on Ethereum. Look at that. But BSV still absolutely smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. And again, that's just due to the um, ease of the um, upload and the and the cost of the upload. You can just simply fit more data on it. That's it. Great chart, that one. Um, and this, this is the um, BSV data homepage. Let's have a look at applications to see what's making the transactions. So we've got ST, stuk.co with 1.9 million transactions. My two cents, uh, 37. 30 hash going up, 15,000. 15,000. And um, STUK, uh, look at that. Um, output volume, 76 million. Whew. Uh, peer games output volume, 88,000. Over a 24-hour period as well. Jeepers. 
Uh, mint blue transactions, uh, 5,600. Volume output, £7.50. Um, DXS app, remember, dirty traders can be unsullied on DXS app because it is a derivative platform where the, um, the owners... Uh, literally just simply take commission from the trades and the um, and the and the what's, what do we call it uh, the fund the the traders fund pool uh, so um, the owners of the site don't actually have a dog in this fight so it's just literally you can you can either um, top up the pool with your money and you can benefit from the losses of the traders or you can trade and you can uh, benefit from uh, in, <laughs> benefit from uh, good decisions. Uh, it's up to you. It's a great site. But yeah, looking good there. Uh, Mint Blue loving this one. I'm glad to see this is back on because um, all the other sites that were showing how uh, economical uh, Bitcoin was were closing down. I mean, look at this. So we've got Cabal Coin, literally Cabal Coin, the dirtiest coin on the entire market by a country mile. Look at this. Hardly any transactions, huge amounts of CO2 output. And again, we're using the Cabal's terminology against them. Look, the genuine Bitcoin is literally by far the greenest, most efficient coin on the entire market by a long shot. It's huge. Great stuff. Let's have a look at uh, what's on chain. Just giving you more of a, a detailed breakdown of the mining. So we've got Mining Dutch and we've got Gorilla Pool listed here and then um, others on there. Very good. What's on chain? Let's have a quick look at the transactions over 24 hours. Yep, 2 million. Very good. Short position, so this is BTC, so this is a Cabal coin we're looking at. So um, price is going down there. Um, short position going up a little bit. I mean, these will change drastically. I mean, my goodness me. I look at the size of the longs. Good grief, people have absolutely no idea. People are going to get absolutely wrecked on this. Absolutely wrecked. Uh, but uh, some of the people who are, who are not going to get wrecked are the exchanges. So this is um, all exchanges, BTC reserves. Look. So the exchange reserves is this uh, purple, purpley blue line here. And look, it's been going down since 2020. And we're now in 2023. Look at that. So they have been actually getting rid of their reserves quite substantially here. Oof, look at that. Look at that. They know what's coming. It's the it's the traders and the mom and pop investors that have absolutely no idea. So they're, they're getting out slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, dear. And look at this. So this is miner to exchange flows. So all miners, all exchanges. So uh, this is the miners moving their coins to exchanges, which means they're getting ready to uh, dump them. So there was a huge amount here. And this was precisely after the case management conference of uh, the Cabal versus Bitcoin, which is Copa versus uh, Craig Wright. Or should we say Cope? Coping versus Satoshi is what it really is. Let's have a look at Tether. Look, all-time highs. So the previous all-time high was 83.1 billion. And uh, we're now at 83.8 billion. Uh, and if you're wondering where all the market got its utter BS value from, it's all here. Tether's been pumping it. This is the scam that keeps the scams going. It's outrageous. Uh, the Morning Run. This is a great website, this one. So we got uh, the price of BSV here, $38, which means you currently you can get... Um, 700 well uh, you can get 759 genuine bitcoin for one cabal coin <laughs> uh, and that that number was way higher uh previously like wow um let's have a look at live coin watch let's go back onto the market or let's go home shall we here we are so we've currently got a market cap of 1.1 trillion dollars <clears throat> uh, so, cool coin taking a nosedive over 24 hours. Uh, be interesting to see how that marries up to the uh, to the rest of the market. So, there is currently uh, 400 million asks on the market. Um, trade a volume, just uh, what's the percent? 1.3. That's a that's a really low trade volume for uh, for a BTC. So, usually around five percent. Uh, for most market traded items, but anyway, let's have a look at that price chart there, and now we'll compare that to we'll compare Cabal Coin to Bitcoin. Let's have a look. Look at that! Look at that! Bitcoin buried right down here at number fifty-seven. Absolutely nuts. 
Um, oh look, so it looks like it looks like the market has tried to actually push the price down of BSV to correlate with BTC by the looks of it, because BTC has been tanking. Um, interesting, just 2.5 million asks. Uh, trade volume 3.7. Hmm. All right. Uh, look at that. So this is on the the weekly view. Yeah, yeah. So we had a a, a price pump there. Rather, <laughs> rather exciting. I was actually um, uh, giving a talk the other day when that uh, when that literally shot up uh, right in front of my face. It's like mm, interesting. Uh, let's have a look. That um, yeah, um, Bitcoin versus Cabal coin. So BSV, which is Bitcoin versus Cabal BTC. Yeah, look at that. Shown here on um, DXS app. Yeah. Bitcoin. Bitcoin taking the lead. Come on. It's like watching a horse race. Really exciting. And uh, here we go. So this is this is this is Bitcoin. So this was on the uh, this is on the week that we just uh, looked at. Let's have a look at uh, Cabal coin uh, over 24 hours. Look at that. It's in the red. See what's going on. Oof. Oof. Good grief. That a right dump there. Um, that went all the way from uh, 29,200 to 28,800. Straight down. Straight down. That's furious selling. Furious selling. Uh, pushing the price down. So that's that's on the day. Um, all right. So that we'll just have a look. So when, when we'll have a look at when that dropped. Um, let's see what time that was. Oh, that was literally just earlier today uh, in the morning. 1st of August is dated. Oh, all right, straight down. Um, uh, let's see, here we go. So this is on the day. Uh, what's going on here? Mm. Well, it was relatively uh, relatively level. And then it's gone, it looks like it's gone down with BTC. But BTC went straight down. BTC went straight down. Whereas this is kind of like at least got it's got a bit of a slope on it. Um, so first of August, so level until first of August. What was happening with BTC? Yeah, look, it's 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 been going down, down, down. That that that's not level. That is not level. Going down, 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 down. Popped up and then boom. Wow. Woof. So look, they sold it as it was going up. Look, it went up and then straight down. I've, we've I've seen this many times before, but I mean that that's really sharp. Oof. Oh, if if anything is going to knock confidence in the market, it's a line that looks like that. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! My goodness! Right. Uh, anyway, that's an 18-minute show. Look, check this out. So the reason I call it Cabal Coin is because this uh, James M. Lop very kindly omitted this for us. He said 12 years ago, Satoshi stopped contributing to the uh, Bitcoin uh, to Bitcoin and said the project was in good hands with everyone. Well, he said particularly Gavin, but they chased Gavin out. And he said here today only 0.06% of the uh, lines of code in the Bitcoin Core repository remain unchanged since Satoshi wrote them. So that means they have changed 99.94% of all the lines of code since Satoshi wrote them. So literally. The, the cabal coin they've created is only 0.06% of what Bitcoin should actually be. That's how much they've tampered with it. And then he says, we're all Satoshi. No, you're not. That's absolutely hilarious. I might actually make another show on that just as a bit of a news roundup. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.